Hello, YouTubers. Hello, alternators. How does it feel to be one week away from the end? Yeah, primary season will officially be over next Tuesday and not a moment too soon for our fatigued Democratic ranks who cannot wait to put an end to all of this friendly fire. Oops, was that an assassination reference? Yes, we hit the trifecta last week with Mike Huckabee, Hillary Clinton, and Fox pundit Liz Trotta all making comments that conjured the idea of Barack Obama being assassinated. Now, I disagree with a lot of people because I believe all three of them were mistakes. Stupid and unprofessional mistakes that ignore the gravity of our real and bloody history. Now, Clinton's comment is most important because, to me, it's got a context that is crucial. She was making the argument that she is forced to constantly make now, which is to explain why she is still in the race. It has been a long marathon, but the leader is 100 yards from the wire, and the competition is 500 yards back. So, Hillary and Bill must face the damning question every day in their interviews. I'm talking about the Ralph Nader question, the Dennis Kucinich question, the losers question. Why are you even here? And it's most damning because it holds back the entire offensive line of the candidate's message. It sets a tone for anything that follows as hypothetical. It brands the candidate a sideshow. Yes, the surest sign of a campaign without a pulse is when it has to spend its usually 10 precious seconds of distilled media each day asking you to take it seriously. Because it's not enough to tread water in a moving current. So why is she still around? Oh, she's spiteful. She's a psychopath. She's holding the vice presidency for ransom. Maybe. But if you've heard of Occam's Razor, you might be attracted to the fact that she's doing exactly what she said she would. She's keeping a promise to the millions who did vote for her and who would feel betrayed by a sudden act of harakiri. And if you watch this show, then you know I thought she'd be out by May 20th. I was wrong. The loser of the race sometimes wants to cross the finish line anyway. Hillary is now entering the same territory as Mike Huckabee was in when he was the last hanger on in the Republican race and he went on Saturday Night Live and he told the audience, when it's time, I'll exit with class and grace. Now the rest of us said, how about with reason and logic, which would mean doing it now? But that's not how many campaigns end. They don't always die instantly like heroic soldiers on a field of battle. Often they die slowly, like jackals, with a wound on their back that they can't reach to clean, growing jaundiced, poisoning their blood with the biological waste of a colony of fly larvae, lurching and dipping in and out of delusion or insanity until the last ounce of life is spent and the spirit departs. So let me play Atticus Finch and caution my Obama supporters to leave the dog alone. A campaign is a life, and even a condemned man wants five more minutes. I would. I would. So if you need to expend energy, go to BarackObama.com, make phone calls to voters in Montana and South Dakota. That is, after all, how we got this far. Hope and change don't run on snark and spite. Now this video is going up on YouTube as well as Alternet.org. <clears throat> and to my regular viewers, Alternet is one of the oldest and biggest political sites on the internet and a trove of relevant original reporting. I just read a story there about a high school principal who outed two gay students to the entire school and their parents. To read it yourself, there is a link in my sidebar. And if you're watching at Alternate, hello. And if you want to get in on the great conversations we always have here, just click on my beautiful face.